Ser feliz nunca me ha salido caro eh, Ahora veo What's up guys, it's Alina and today I'm going to be filming a day in my life Today is Thursday and it is the day that I have the most classes. I have three classes, so it is currently it's currently almost 9.30 and I just finished my first class, which was anatomy. That was from 8.15 to um, 9.30. And so my next class is at 11.15. So what I do in between these two classes is I'm just going to go ahead and start my routine. Um, I usually shower in between classes because I have, um, for my next class, I have to turn on the camera. So I'm going to take a shower, eat, and then just um, do a little bit of review of the stuff from my Italian class that I was supposed to review before the class today. And then um, fix my notes for the class that I just took. So I'm going to fix those, take a shower, and just basically get ready. So hopefully you guys enjoy this routine. Alright, so I just did finish getting ready. I'm not going to do my makeup today because I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just wearing this red champion shirt, which is from, I think it's from Dix. And then my, I'm wearing these sweatpants, which are kind of like more active wear material. These are from Forever 21. So if you didn't see from this morning, this is my desk setup. I do have an actual desk. God is good. And I share this desk with my mom, but most of the stuff that is on here is mine. So I just have my laptop, some of my books for my Italian, my biology book. And then on this side, I always have my agenda open. So I am going to actually fix my anatomy stuff. Woo! I have to get a new tripod because this tripod is actually kind of awful. So I actually have to write down... I don't know what I was going to write on this. I don't remember. Oh, I was probably going to write flashcards. So this, writing stuff on post-it notes. I've never been like a big fan of writing things down on post-it notes. I have like a stack of them. I think I have like eight stacks of post-it notes. And I've never used any of them. But making these and putting them on the back wall behind my laptop has helped me rem remember so many things. I am going to jump into my Italian stuff really quick. All we're supposed to do is just review the second unit that we're going to be going over today. So I'm taking Italian 3 and 4. And so Italian 3 and 4 is basically um, the first few days for Italian 3 and 4 is just us reviewing stuff from Italian 101. I took a hybrid course that it's called Italian for Spanish Speakers. So I basically took two semesters of Italian in one semester. And so that's exactly how I was able to get into number three. So the other thing that I've been doing also with my Italian notes is I have been transferring them as we learn them and as the concepts keep reappearing. I've been transferring them from my notes from last semester to the one for this semester. That way I don't have to be using two notebooks. But I'm going to go over this quick and then I will be right back and I'll talk to you guys. Quindi. Velocemente, da soli, tre minuti, guardiamo queste foto, no? osservate queste immagini, giocare con i videogiochi, andare in palestra, ballare, leggere un libro. So I just finished my Italian class. It is 12.30 and I'm actually babysitting my brother at the moment. So I'm not going to be able to do any work for a little bit. But um, while I am here not able to do work, I thought it would be nice to give you guys some tips and tricks of what I've learned in the last few days of me having online school in terms of like organization and keeping up with everything. So I'm just going to give you guys a few tips. I really don't have that many. The first thing is to get an agenda or use an online planner. I personally prefer 
to have a physical planner. Mine is from TJ Maxx. And I prefer to have these physical planners because I remember things a lot better when I write them down physically. So this planner, I got a planner that was a lot larger than the one that I had last year. Because I wanted to be able to use this um, month, this big month calendar. So on this section, I'm going to go to the one for this month. It also is a calendar for 2020 and 2021. So on this large calendar, I like to write down if I have any quizzes, exams, or if I have no class, for example. So quizzes, exams, um, projects, papers, all of those things, I would write it on here. And then the week before the test is is when i'll start writing it on my actual individual calendar so you'll also see that i have a lot of color coding going on so i'm going to go to my weekly calendar of my homework assignments and we have this wonderful rainbow of classes but this is extremely helpful when you color code because you're also able to remember the assignments better and associate assignments with certain classes better and the more lines you take up, the more stuff you realize, okay, I have the most work for this class and then I can figure that out. So just for reference, my anatomy class is in blue, my Italian class is in purple, my psych class is in pink, and then I have a death and dying class that is in orange. I also have one more class that I truly don't write down anything for it because it's just kind of secondhand nature of having to do a discussion post every week and I already know that I have to do that. So the other thing that's really helpful is that if you color code your notebook i mean if you color code your agenda you should also match those color codes online so if you have like canvas or something i have the exact same colors coordinating with here so i have my biology class in blue again and so on and so forth so i don't know if you guys knew about this but you can actually um create your own color codes but this can only be done on the computer so that's why mine are all pastel so these are the basic colors that come in um canvas but if you search like for example pastel color codes which is what i always use code you just like pick a picture that has um these color codes and then you copy them directly into this little space here and then this is how it ends up the other color the other thing that i also have color coded is my google drive I have my folders also with the exact same colors, and this is also just for organization purposes. This semester, I decided to do everything online. I usually prefer to handwrite my notes, but I literally just don't have time. Like, the teachers, they speak too fast. I do not have time. So I have everything organized here. You might have seen my anatomy and physiology notes from this morning, but I have everything written in here. The only class that I have handwritten is Italian because you have to have accents and stuff like that that I don't like having to do on the internet. So the only other tip that I've learned in these last few days pretty much just has to do with Zoom and it's with turning on your camera. Turning on your camera, it holds you accountable a lot more than you think it does. And you're actually more likely to engage and pay attention if you have your camera on because you feel like you're being watched. So I've noticed that in a lot of my Zoom classes, there's people that they have their cameras off and the professor will call them out to answer a question and they don't answer because they're obviously either not there, they're not paying attention. So for you to succeed in a class, I would recommend you turn on the camera unless, of course, it's a class where everybody has their camera off. Like my anatomy class is at 8.15 in the morning. So obviously everybody that's on Zoom, nobody's going to want to have their camera on. So that is the only class I think that I ever turn my camera off for. But for Italian, I make sure that I have my camera on. For death and dying, I kind of, más o menos, have it on. Um... Music and film, I don't have, um, I don't have an actual live class. And then for psychology, I always have it on because it's required. But even if it's not required, I recommend that you, you know, engage and turn on your camera. So that's going to be it for my organization Canvas Zoom University tips. And now I am going to see what this child is doing. What are you doing? So originally I wasn't going to do any work until my mom came back, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get stranded watching this baby. So if since that's the case, I'm going to eat a snack quick because I didn't really eat breakfast. I only ate a bowl of cereal, 
So I'm going to eat a snack and then I'm going to sit on my computer and start to do um, probably my anatomy homework. We have this um, online book that's called a learn smart book which i absolutely hate with a burning passion like it's honestly awful and in order for you to get the points for the activity which is only worth one point you have to answer all 250 of the questions so i've only answered i think i think i have like 150 questions left so i'm i'm been doing like 50 at a time and it takes a long time so i'll probably do that and yeah, I'll figure out what else I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is my snack. I just have crazy bread, some marinara sauce. I didn't want to eat like actual food yet because it's only one o'clock and I'm sure that I'm probably gonna eat actual food when my mom comes back. So this is gonna be enough in the meantime. Okay, mama sweet patrigo, big. Uh oh, okay, no, just stay here, goodbye. Why are you crying and then you want to follow me? Alright, so it is currently 2.05. I said that I was going to start my homework as soon as I finish eating. But my brother just required a lot of attention today. So I just put him down for a nap and I'm actually going to start doing my... My anatomy homework. Um, my smart book. So basically... This is what my smart book looks like. You're supposed to read through all of this information. Um, I kind of just skim. I don't really like read the whole thing because it is a lot. <laughs> and he kind of goes over this exact same stuff in the lectures. So for this, you're allowed to use notes. So I usually have like the PowerPoint open, um, my notes that I took from the PowerPoint. And then you're also able to click the read about this option, which it takes you directly to the correct answer. The only thing that I don't like is that, first of all, there's too many questions. And if you get a question wrong, it doesn't deduct the number. So it says 172 items left. But if I get this question wrong, it's still going to say 172 items. So realistically, I get a lot of these wrong. So I really am answering more than the questions over there. But So it's currently 321. I've been sitting here for probably about an hour and I got down to 100 questions for this. So that's going to be it for this part of today. And so next I'm going to, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to do my Italian workbook. I finished, I did like half of it yesterday, so I'm going to finish the other half. And then I think by the time I finish that, it'll be time for my 530 class, which is death and dying. So as I said earlier, I have a class at 5.30, so I'm going to do the rest of my um, the rest of my Italian homework, get that out of the way. Usually the workbook is literally the only homework that we have, so I'll do that. Hopefully I'm able to finish that within the next 20 minutes because I really want to watch a TV show before my next class because my next class is two and a half hours long. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished my Italian homework. It is literally exactly 5.30, so I am going to be hopping in to my next zoom class this class is actually very boring but it is okay and yeah 
So for this class, I don't know why I'm whispering because my thing is muted, but for this class, as you can see, everybody's cameras are off and I feel so bad for our professor. <laughs> look at all of these there's like 40 students in this class around that well there used to be 40 students now there's only 30 but um all the cameras are off and people they really only turn on the camera if they're gonna talk so it's just pretty much a very informative lecture class we don't do very much we do some breakout groups with some discussions but that's about it it's a little bit boring and i get a little distracted but nonetheless here we go. ...of a common culture for the first time in this area in a way that hadn't really existed before. So around, again, um, from around 300 BCE through the rise of the Roman Empire around 29 BCE, um, you see a, um, a bit of a coalescing of... of so, can you leave the chat? Yeah, our professor just left because his internet is, like, very yes, bad. Well, this is interesting. He said he gonna come back, but goddamn, it's not that serious. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> just call it. Just call it. It's over. Can I do it all here? Oh, no. That'd be funny as hell. Did he come back? I don't know what's going on. How are we doing? Are, are we oh. back? Can you hear me? Yes. Watching. Thanks again, folks. See y'all later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are done for today. No more classes. I'm so tired of sitting in here. So now that I'm done with this, I'm not going to do any more work because I've literally been sitting in here the entire day for some odd reason. I'm tired. So I'm just going to go eat again. I feel like this entire vlog was just me eating and doing homework. <laughs> but that's really how my life is now that um, Zoom University is going on. So I'm going to eat and watch some YouTube videos, probably some Netflix. I just started a new um, telenovela on Netflix that is called um, Falsa Identidad, False Identity. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what's next, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe buttons down below, along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my VSEO, and my Spotify playlist. And I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Say I'm